flight deck is over three football fields long. Her superstructure towers 15 stories high. This floating airbase carries over 70 aircraft to strategic points around the globe. The USS Saratoga is a city with a mission. Saratoga's mission is simply put to support naval air power at sea using four steam-powered turbines that can push her at speeds above 30 miles an hour. The Saratoga can deliver maritime power unequaled by any other nation. The Saratoga's punch comes in the form of a powerful assortment of highly technical and uniquely specialized aircraft. A strategic mixture of fighters, attack bombers, submarine hunters, and early warning radar planes can effectively shield a battle group, help protect sea lines of communication, and strike enemy targets thousands of miles away. The F and A-18 Hornet is a multi-role high-performance tactical aircraft which can perform fighter, strike, and intercept missions with speeds over Mach 1.3. The Hornet is the Navy's newest carrier-based fighter. The F-14 Tomcat is the world's most sophisticated fighter. With its variable sweet wings and Phoenix missile system, the Tomcat equals air supremacy. The A-6E Intruder is the Sarah's attack bomber, capable of carrying thousands of pounds of bombs great distances. It can destroy both moving and fixed sea and land targets in all weather conditions and during darkness. The intruder's cousin is the KA-6D tanker, used to refuel planes in flight for extended range missions. Saratoga's eye in the sky is the E-2C Hawkeye. Its primary mission is to provide airborne early warning and command and control functions using sophisticated electronic warfare. To counter any potential submarine threat, we carry S-3 Viking and SH-3 Sea King helicopters. Both are capable of detecting, tracking, and destroying enemy submarines. The Sea King also serves as a versatile day or night rescue platform. On Saratoga's flight deck, every move is carefully orchestrated with safety an important factor in any decision. Known as the roof, the flight deck is an unforgiving environment. Small mistakes can quickly turn into major disasters. It is a demanding place to work, and for the men on the roof, long hours are the norm. Flight operations can go down at any hour and can continue around the clock for days on end. Saratoga's angled flight deck permits simultaneous takeoffs and landings, allowing the launching of up to 20 aircraft in less than 15 minutes. On final landing approach to the carrier at speeds of up to 145 miles an hour. The plane's tail hook will grab a wire cable, stopping the aircraft in less than two seconds. Up forward, the planes are hooked onto steam-powered catapults and launched from the deck at over 150 miles an hour in two and a half seconds. The ship's defense is layered with its air wing, the primary weapon. The second layer consists of cruisers, destroyers, frigates, and submarines, which comprise the carrier battle group. The third line of defense is the NATO Sea Sparrow missile system and the Vulcan Phalanx rapid-firing gun. The Sea Sparrow can take out targets that close within seven miles of the ship. Any enemy targets able to survive this formidable shield must now face the six revolving barrels of each of three phalanx mounts. Based on the Civil War Gatling gun, this weapon can spit out a devastating 3,000 radar-guided rounds per minute, literally shredding anything in its path. While the defense layer is visually obvious, it's the behind-the-scene operations that make it viable. To control Saratoga's various defense options, several control centers are online. Areas such as the Combat Direction Center, Air Traffic Control Center, and Strike Operations all coordinate their sophisticated data to project a powerful defense blanket. 
Sea power is at the heart of our ability to influence international events by virtue of U.S. politics, economic strategy, and culture. The ability to transport a powerful air wing is perhaps the president's most versatile weapon and best defense. To move such an enormous vessel as Saratoga is an engineering feat of awesome proportions. Saratoga carries over two and a half million gallons of fuel oil and steaming at 15 knots burns about 4,000 gallons an hour. She generates enough electricity to power 12,000 American homes and her saltwater condensers produce 390,000 gallons of fresh water daily. Below Saratoga's highly visible flight deck, another world exists. Here, 5,000 men work and live under conditions that are at best demanding and sometimes difficult. The gray city never sleeps and never stops working. There are times to remember family and friends far away. There is never a shortage of work in any area of the ship. The Saratoga is a city with a mission. And like any city, there are facilities to meet life's needs. For those requiring medical care, the Sarah has a 60-bed hospital equipped with an intensive care unit, x-ray rooms, and lab facilities. Four dentists and 12 dental techs provide complete dental care. Saratoga's shopping mall consists of four retail stores which carry 100,000 items of merchandise. A modern laundry and dry cleaning facility process 2,400 pounds a day. And two barber shops keep the crew squared away. The local dinery would be hard-pressed to keep up with the daily production schedule of Saratoga's award-winning Mestex. A hungry crew consumes 10,000 meals a day, including 700 gallons of milk, 400 loaves of bread, and 1,000 pounds of potatoes. The dispersing office is the shipboard equivalent of a local bank, where the crew can cash checks and get paid. Sarah's post office processes 5,000 pounds of mail a week. The chapel on board has services seven days a week and chaplains are always available for counseling and spiritual assistance to men of all denominations. The chaplain also operates the ship's library, stocked with over 3,000 books and magazines for the crew's relaxation. For entertainment and information, a closed-circuit TV system is provided. Three channels offer the crew take television shows, movies, and a nightly news production. WSAR Radio features syndicated tape DJ shows, as well as drawing on its own library of over 10,000 albums. A daily newspaper keeps the crew abreast of world events, while a monthly feature magazine addresses the needs of Saratoga's family members. With underway replenishment, the ship can remain at sea indefinitely, thanks to the men who maintain and repair the equipment, aircraft components, and sensitive instruments. Engines do break and communications gear does fail. Even the over 700 TV sets require trained technicians to bring them back online. It's all part of fleet readiness. Sacrifices made by Saratoga men and their families are not without rewards. Navy men and women attend some of the finest technical schools in America. The Saratoga visits countries and experiences cultures most Americans only read about. The Navy is an adventure but it takes a special kind of person to endure this demanding life. Spirit, dedication, and patriotism prevail to carry the sailor through the vigorous trial. Because we are an island nation, the Navy's mission is vital to America's freedom. The Saratoga is a modern miracle of technology, but much of her spirit is driven by Navy traditions built on over 200 years of existence. The USS Saratoga, standing tall, always ready to serve anytime, anywhere. <laughs> <laughs>